They're off in the Kentucky Derby. Hey everyone, it's Vinny, and I am back to talk about Kentucky Derby runner Kings Barnes, the three-year-old son of Uncle Mo, trained by Todd Pletcher, and currently does not have a jockey as a time of recording for me uh, recording this video. Jose Ortiz is scheduled to work out on him, has not been officially named to Kings Barnes yet. Kings Barnes sits currently uh, at number eight in the point standings with 100 points. He's undefeated, three for three lifetime. He is very versatile. Uh, he's won races already from coming from off the pace, and he went gate to wire in the Louisiana Derby. And with only three starts, it's possible we haven't seen the best out of Kings Barnes yet, yeah, which is kind of what I'm hoping personally. Uh, his pedigree, Uncle Mo has already sired a Kentucky Derby winner in Nyquist and a Belmont Stakes winner in Mo Donegal. He already has finished in front of multiple Kentucky Derby runners this year, uh, including Disarm, who currently sits at number 16, Jace's Road, who's number 18, and Sun Thunder, who is number 14. A big negative, though, is that Flavian Pratt picked to ride Angel of Empire for Brad Cox over Kings Barnes, even though Kings Barnes is undefeated. That's kind of a big, that, that's kind of a, a big con. Also, his lack of experience, the Derby's only going to be his fourth start. He didn't have any races as a two-year-old, which I know Justify broke the curse of Apollo back in 2018, but he went on to win the Triple Crown and was very much the best horse at the time in that crop uh went off the derby favorite won the triple crown like justify was kind of in a league of his own there whereas king's barnes is not going to be the favorite and is currently the other other todd fletcher horse in the kentucky derby so not really you can't really compare him there to justify so i think it's a i do think it's a negative my belief, though, is that Kings Barnes is a, he, I think he is a serious racehorse, and I think he's he's versatile enough that he should run well in the Derby. I don't see why, if he doesn't improve off that Louisiana Derby, he couldn't actually win the Derby. It, again, a major concern, though, is that he doesn't have a jockey yet, and for a horse that has been highly touted this year coming into the Derby and has won the way he has in his last... In, in his lo three lifetime starts it is concerning that he doesn't have a jockey yet but we'll see what happens maybe jose will jose will be named to them uh by the end of this week to king's barnes i'm using all my tickets so best of luck if you're joining me and using king's barnes and i will see you next time racingdudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race every track across the country we're ramping up for the 2023 Kentucky Derby, and we want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to Racing Dudes' YouTube channel, like click the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.